Hi. You may have expected facehuggers or full-on alien aliens. Considering that this game is called Xenomorph, but I'm sorry. This is not an Aliens franchise game. This is just Xenomorph for the Commodore 64. Xenomorph is a program from Pandora, which sounds like it offers music streaming services instead of video games. But that's what Xenomorph is. It's an RPG adventure in first person perspective. A first person RPAG, a first person role playing adventure game. This game only exists because of another project for which some of the artwork originally was created, fell through, a game called Lasers and Labyrinth. Also, yes, Alien was one of the inspirations behind the story it influenced things. But to the game itself, this version for the Commodore 64 contains some features that had to be cut from other versions, including the original MS-DOS version due to time and, well, memory constraints. And this is a pretty complex game, so here's an essential tip, an essential hint. First of all, draw a map. The game itself doesn't come with one. But mapping the ship and uh, the environment completely is essential for you to not get lost. Second, there are aliens. Not the ones you'd find on the Nostromo, but that's because you're not a janitor aboard the Nostromo, you're a janitor aboard the Mombasa Oak. Well, okay, you might be the captain. However, the miners in the place you went to, well, they're all dead. Thanks to aliens they uncovered it during a mining operation. There is no word on if they also found notes from Ridley Scott to his cast, though. Alien, the first movie, is one of the inspirations behind the game's backstory, which includes aliens with full life cycles, a need for food and drink, and the vending machines that will fulfill those mighty needs, and, well, there is a full-on novella to explain to you the events that led to you being wake woken up by from cryosleep by your onboard computer. Now, this game is on a complexity level that is similar to that of System Shock, I would say. Admittedly, the visuals are a bit less impressive since you turn 90 degrees all the time turn but on the other hand there's no cyberspace through which you have to fly and I'm not putting this down as a bad thing um, this is an awesome if sometimes very frustrating game due to its puzzles and the unrelenting alien onslaught waiting to munch on you now I'd say this game is a winner Okay, in 14 days I'll do something that's a little bit different than what I've discussed before. Yes, I've discussed simulations, but this time I'm going to discuss a football management simulation in English. I've discussed one in German, this time is in English, and by football I mean soccer, not American football. On second thought, why not talk about all of the games in the Football Manager series, the old ones for the Commodore 64, not the current ones. 